humankind has developed some rather impressive technology. People today can easily communicate anytime and anywhere, something that would have been unthinkable a century ago. Yet, as inspiring as these achievements are, we never seem to be content with the status quo. We always want better and faster. We can all identify with the desire for faster internet speeds when downloading a movie or sharing pictures with our friends and family. We are always searching for the ultimate network able to provide faster speeds. The faster, the better. We want it lightning fast. To meet these requirements, various types of communications networks have been built on land, underwater, and on the ground. And when it comes to communication speed and capacity, optical networks are the clear choice. In technical terms, these networks are called wavelength division multiplexing (WDM) systems. What does the WDM system look like? Is it as big as an export container, or maybe an aircraft carrier? This here is the Huawei OptiX OSN 9800U64, featuring the largest cross-connect capability in the world, and it's only the size of a refrigerator. This device can cross-connect a maximum of 25.6T of data per second, enough capacity for each person in China to send a digital photo once every minute. What is a cross-connect capacity? If we compare data to passengers and transport devices to airports, the passenger throughput of an airport is the cross-connect capacity. And the number of planes that the airport can accommodate is the number of line boards. Why are traditional network devices unable to resolve large capacity cross-connect issues? This is a traditional network device. Large capacity cross-connection requires cassetting of multiple traditional network devices in a large equipment room. Large capacity cross-connection capability of the Optic OSN 9800 is exactly what the situation calls for. Could you introduce the 100G feature? Is it possible to increase the rate any higher? The Huawei OSN 9800 series supports smooth evolution for future networks, specifically. Networks will be able to be scaled from 100 gigabytes to 400 gigabytes to 1 terabyte and even 2 terabytes. Huawei released the first 400 gigabyte line board in the industry. In 2012, Huawei was the first company to test 400 gigabyte boards on a European live network. In 2013, Huawei put its 400 gigabyte boards into commercial use at Telefonica. The first such deployment in the industry. The Optic OSN 9800 U64 is awesome. In addition to the OptiX OSN 9800 U64, the OSN 9800 U32 and U16 are also available. The U64 and U32 are large capacity OTN devices applicable. To backbone networks. The U16 features a large capacity with a compact footprint. I can share a 19-inch or ETSI cabinet with other products. Therefore, the U16 is readily deployable on MANs. In addition to its large capacity. What are all the features defined the Optic OSN 9800 series? Compared with traditional WDM systems, the OSN 9800 series provides an MSOTM transport platform, which is very important. What are MSOTM mean? MSOTM is the abbreviation for Multi-Service Optical Transport Network. This technology is very new. And is also called POTS or POTN in the industry. Multi-service refers to all the services from layer zero to layer two in the OSI seven-layer model, including WDM, SDH, OTN, or Ethernet services. Getting a good idea. 
But can you explain it in a bit more simple terms? Sure. The basic principles behind MSOTN are rather simple, but they can make a big difference. MSOTN delivers many benefits, such as unified cross connection, flexible setup for hard and soft pipes, and minimized latency. Unified cross connection in the case that mobile, fixed internet access and high bandwidth aggregation services are received on the same device. Optics OSM 9A00 provides 2 megabits per second to 100 gigabits per second access, thereby reducing the number of needed SDH devices, switches, and routers. As a result, the network architecture becomes flattened and simplified, and the per bit cost is greatly reduced. Because fewer devices are used, the required space in the equipment room and correlated costs are reduced. Hard and soft pipes can be flexibly set up. The proportion of any service transmitted over an MSOTN system can be set to any number from 0% to 100% using the software, which greatly improves capacity utilization efficiency. The VC, ODUG, and PKT signals are of different granularities. When it comes to capacity utilization, the VC, ODUG, and PKT signals are similar to sand, salt, and water, respectively, and wavelengths are similar to stones. If the capacity of the container for each service is fixed and service applications are frequently changed, the channel capacity of some services is wasted as there is no way to utilize the unoccupied bandwidth. This while, other services are starving for resources. Even if the system is in full configuration, fragments in large spaces are not fully used because the capacity allocation is not optimum nor is it dynamically adjusted. However, if unified switching is implemented, the MSOTN removes the barriers in capacity utilization from layer 0 to layer 2, and bandwidth usage reaches 100%. Latency is also minimized. MSOTN directly cross-connects various services at the layer 0, layer 1, and layer 2 layers, instead of mapping different services and performing GFP encapsulation. For example, there are 10 nodes on an 800 km link. In most situations, the latency in an MSOTN system is only one-eighth that found on IP network. The minimized latency is most valuable in high-value transactions. In addition, the OSN 9800 series features high energy efficiency. Huawei possesses advanced chip processing technologies and uses energy-saving power conversion modules, achieving an energy consumption ratio of 1 watt per GBPS. This is a 30% decrease in compared with traditional WDM systems. Is TSDN also an important feature? Yes, TSDN is the abbreviation for Transport SDN and it is an important feature of Huawei's WDM solution. We will provide more information about TSDN in the future.